selfies already. <laughs> don't, don't scare them away. Gabby wants to, like, Storm, are you looking at those turkeys? Okay, this is how we're gonna get it on, like how we did before. Yeah. Dad, hold him. He's and you tap his butt so you can't move. Yeah, he's doing better. You don't even have to tap tap the butt, tap him at all. You just have to hold the whip up. You do it. You're better no, at I'm it. I'm better at holding. Oh. But look, there's a heart on his bum too. Oh. Okay. Gentle. Boy. Boy. So Sophie has been, has been religious. Boy. Sophie's been really good at sitting set, soft in the saddle, but now that she's in a hurry because she's afraid He's of him, Vinny boy does not has never liked having somebody stand above his head. So this nice big mounting block has been an issue for him. Uh, but we've been working and working and working. Like, we thought it would be a much faster fix. And he's doing better and better and better. Before, she wasn't even able to mount him on this thing. And the last two times, she has been. So, super proud of her. Super proud of him. Finn's ready for the stroller. He's like... <laughs> Is it Finn or Sophie doing that? <laughs> it's here. It's the baby. Wait till the baby starts making noise. So, okay, there's this crazy phenomenon, and I've probably never told you about it before, Fiona. But you know how, like, in the movies, how, like, they fight each other, and it looks like they're, like, fighting each other, and they add sounds, but they're not actually fighting each other, like, they fake stuff? Yeah. Okay, well, so this is a phenomenon. People don't believe me, and it's insane, and it's come up a million times in our videos. So, so we're training our puppy, her puppy, who's deaf. And we've gotten her really good. She's so good. Like she listens to our sign language. We're starting her with um, a vibration collar now. Mm -hmm. And we have been keeping her on a leash a lot of times, but now we're at the point where, where she's listening on the leash. So we don't have to pull her back to us. So we took her down to the barn the other day and there was a lot of distractions, which was horse poop. She's obsessed with horse poop. So she wasn't on a leash. We were hoping to use the vibration collar. She's new to the vibration collar and we don't use it very often because she gets rattled. So when she was walking away and I told Sophie she could push the vibration collar, she was jumping. Like she jumps because it's a shock. Like it doesn't shock her, but it's like a surprise. Yep. Well, she's like, she's anticipating like, oh my gosh, it's going to happen again. Like she's still learning it. So anyways, how we get her attention when she's not watching is we tap her bum three times with our finger just like a tap 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 like that and because if you just walk up to a deaf dog and you like just grab it's them it's yeah and she's not angry or aggressive or anything but she will jump but anyway so she's really jumpy because we had this shot collar on and so we pushed it a couple of times because the horse poop was there and she wasn't listening and we were afraid she was going to run because she runs up to the house and then the road is there and it's really scary so anyways, Sophie's walking closer to her and she's like gonna run and she's already jumping because of the shot collar and she's anticipating the shot collar. So Sophie reached out and did this to her. I don't want to mess you. Okay. Like as a poke. Did that hurt? No. Okay, well so she did that. It's not a big deal except for in the video it looked like she hauled off and kicked Picture. the dog because the dog was surprised. The dog was surprised she was there because she was so intent on this poop. So it was like a surprise, a surprise push. All of a sudden, somebody was there behind her. So she jumped like a mile, of, of, you know what I mean? Like she jumped. So now everybody thinks that Sophie abuses her dog and what could she be doing uh, off camera if she's doing that on camera? Oh my sweet no, <laughs> way worse Sophie than- Sophie wouldn't hurt, <laughs> no, Way worse than that though. Like you should, I'm getting death threats. I'm getting like, like the most unbelievable comments you could ever imagine. So love you, Gabby. But if it had been Gabby, I might have said she might have because she's the tougher one. Yeah. But not Sophie. Oh, so this morning, <laughs> Sophia was leaving the bathroom and she turned to like go. When she does when she gets fit in trouble. I don't 100% believe that she does get him in oh, trouble. Oh, she does. She tells him he can't have the licorice if he doesn't behave. <laughs> That's how she gets him in trouble. So anyway, but in but if you watch the video, it looks like she kicked her and the kick and the dog moved. Like I, so I was talking to my friend and my friend, I'm like, she was jumpy. She was. So my friend looked back and slowed the video down. She's like, oh yeah, you're right. I can see how she was jumping from the from the collar and oh my gosh. But anyway, it was a disaster. People are are. Oh, so she, anyways, this morning she ended up accidentally stepping on the puppy's paw. The puppy screamed because she actually did step on her paw and it wasn't even that hard. And Sophie was bawling and she's like, save her, help my puppy. Just like me, like help yeah. her, help her. Yeah, Storm stopped sweating. 
the girls just keep they go around a couple of rounds and they come over to hang out with us and have a chat I highly suggest that you start pulling that pony's mane if you're going to show him this season you do a little bit each time three pulls or four pulls and then leave it you won't be a big deal and he won't care all right we should do it if you pull a big chunk at a time, then they get upset sometimes. No, he like all of our horses like it. There you go. Even Penny likes right, so it. Even if you just pull three or four pulls, then by the time show season comes, it'll be done and it won't be like it was a big job. We pulled Penny's mane just to see what she'd be like because we thought she'd be terrible, and she literally like was well, wanting to sleep so in your hand. Everything. Yeah. So, oh, I don't like those. So yeah, she got those because I like them. So Silpy, oh, so I send, send her to the store. She picks out all these snacks. What are these? They're really good. They're just coconut chocolate. It's like, oh, it's like, like that. Yeah, but they're cookies. Oh. But they're really good. They taste almost as good as that. I did not know what ones we were talking about. Dad found those ones, and I'm like, but I don't So we send Silpy to the <laughs> store, and she literally buys like. She's a really good shopper, though. Like she can shop. If you ever need somebody to shop for you, she is a shopper. Let's get some clothes. Two point trot. Let's do it. Allow your body to do the work there, Missy, not your hands. Sophie said it just exactly perfect yesterday. I'm definitely not done. Girls go to Mars to get more chocolate bars and boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. I remember that. Yeah. Collected trot. Working trot. I think that's what being lazy He's been really good. How are your legs feeling today, Soph? Good. Not good. You're feeling like maybe you want to move them back and drop your knees down to the ground? That's better. Oh, so that was a trick question. How are your legs feeling, Sophie? <laughs> you were meant to say they're not in the right position you instead not of good. not good. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, that's good. Yes. Because Finn understands Because you understand. It's all about you. Finn gets it. In your hands right away, Sophia. Don't grab his mouth. There you go. Only use that heel when you need to. So that's getting a little quick there, Sophie. Huh. Yeah, we huh. So we're going to breathe around the turns and keep your bum out of the saddle. If we're struggling to stay in the light seats, maybe we should be doing squats or lunges on our own two feet. We need to be doing that. It will help strengthen your legs. Finn's like, but I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Oh, we didn't put up any jumps oh, yeah. or anything. That, that was bad planning on our part. I don't know why he's so lazy. In the 50s. He's not lazy. He's moving forward. I'm pretty sure that you know your leads, dude. He was, he was very weirded out by how I did that. So, what are some changes that you've noticed in the girls since you came back? Or do you for confidence? This one has more confidence. Mm -hmm. Much more confidence. And the other one has more bad habits. No, she just seems to be much more mature growing up. That's the coffee talking. <laughs> Sophie's just starting to come into that, but I doubt Sophie will ever be that grouchy. It's a gentle half halt by squeezing your fingers and breathing with your breath and tightening your thighs. Then you let him go. Breathe, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the fingers, big breath. There, pooping again. There you go, Sam. And rebounds and canter. Where did the last cavaletti? <laughs> I didn't see it, don't have to clean it. Yeah. Toes forward. Right one's good, checking that left one. I'm not gonna be there soon. It's not gonna be there soon, Sam. That's the idea. She may be overdoing the... Sit down, breathe! See, that's what I'm worried about with my horse. If I Look, dance too much... Turn. Now ride straight, keep your legs off! Keep your legs off, keep your legs off, keep your legs off! What happened there? Doing the changes. No, I meant... Ten. He's leaving you another one there, Sam. Yeah, Gabby would be doing too many lead changes because every time she goes off the rail, he thinks that she's going to ask him, and he must not like it because of the. Down. 
Don't get on his face. And slow your butt down. Use your body to slow him down, Sophia. Think let's speed him up like barrel racers. So when we pulled him in for that circle, he cut dropped his shoulder and did a barrel racing turn, which speeds him up. Big circles, slow them down. Good job, Sophia. Now sit, breathe, hands up. There. Just carry your hand. Soften your elbow. There, that's just perfect. Tell him he's a good boy and say thank you. That's right, talk to him. That was much better, you may walk. This is what we, we've been missing, like, so. Breathe, Sophia, sit up, turn your horse. Little half halt, talk to him. Tell him he's a good boy. Yeah, she has a thing with not cutting your horse. Cutting your thighs to slow your animal down. One more time, Sophia. Pick up your correct lead, so breathe. Big breath like you're gonna walk, sit heavy. Tighten your knees. There, and canner. Can I do a control? Yeah. Good job. Coming up the quarter line, breathe. Remember, those thighs, as soon as you tighten them, he should slow down. Tighten your thigh, breathe out, look at me. Sit back, and go. Yeah, see how easy that was? Try again, without the trot. We want to be able to catch it before he breaks to a trot. Right there, sit back, hands up. Tighten your thighs and breathe. Much nicer corner, did you feel in control? Look up, hands up, shoulders back, and walk. Your oh. butt is doing much better staying in that saddle and not bumping. When she did that thing that you told her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it made a big difference. So what you really want to think about, Sophia, and this is the hardest thing. Imagine that your knee, up from your knee to your thigh is glued to the saddle. Not your knees directly. You're not clamping your knees on. Your thighs, okay? So the inside of your thighs, between your knees and your groin. On that saddle. Every canter stride, know how your body wants to leave the saddle? I want you to take the saddle with you. Imagine that your legs are literally going to pull the saddle off his back. Oh, I love it. Okay, because then every time you want to go up, you're literally going to just lift him with you. And he's going to get a floatier, lighter canter, and it's going to get smoother for you. So imagine, okay, I'm just going to take the saddle with my thighs, and we're stuck together. I'm taking the saddle. Taking the saddle. Taking the saddle. Taking the saddle. And then the hand stays soft, and the body can just take the saddle. Okay? Okay. Walk. Breathe. She's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Right. I love M&M's. They're one of my favorites. Oh, you picked good. Okay, so this is what we have up here. We have the Cavalettis and a jump over there, pole over there, poles here. We have pylons. Don't know what those are for. You're not going to die. Don't say that. And you're rising with two ups over the pole. Stand for two. Don't sit for two. Hands forward, my dear. No touching his mouth. Think about the turn before you get there. If you use the corner more, get into the shavings. That'd be better. It's a pole there, Finny. <laughs> Everything's a jump to Finn. Eyes up, breathe out, and hands forward. That was fine. Staying on this rain, coming up the line again. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. Can you slow him down this time? You can, you're just gonna go slower. It looked gorgeous, Sophie. About to see the world in action. Take your time and go slow. Look up, two, one. Left stirrup. Yes! Look up at the last pole. Here's Sophia. Uh oh. Good riding through it, Sophia. Well done. Do it again. Look up. Good. Look up. Don't look at us. Yes. One, two, beautiful! I'm rocking this baby and spooking Finn, <laughs> just for fun. Good, look up. 
course I say that, and then he goes ahead and trots it. Look up, let your hands go. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl, keep your canter. Three, one, two, three, one, two. Good job, you may walk. That was so good. I think she got inside herself because she thought he was gonna, the baby was gonna spook him. Your horse what? Doesn't stop you ride the canter. Oh, oh. Look up at your dad. Good. One, two, one. Oh. Feeling your fear, Soph. I think she didn't. I don't think she's afraid right now. I think she's just grumpy with him. I don't think she's scared though. I think she's just being angry with him because he's being a silly boy. Try one more circle. I want you to take a big breath and I want you to let it all go. You just got on, you just brought him in from the field. He's a beautiful boy, you're having a great ride. You just gotta turn your mental, that's all. Change your mind. Go to the beach. When Hope was really bad for me, I would go stand in the corner with her and drop my rein so I didn't touch her. And we would just stand there until I was better and then we tried again and it was a way different ride. Sometimes it just takes us turning our brains around and everybody's gotta do it. Doesn't matter how long you've been riding. Still now? No, I don't wanna do that. Why? She's scared. Okay, but what, what is making you scared? Talk to me. Yeah, so. No, you didn't. And then go straight. And you have to release his face. Good. Can you do that one more time? That was good. Okay. You have to let him go. Do not hold his face over the jumps. Hands forward. Yes. There. That was better. We can be live with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we right there if you want. Yes, 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 that's all I wanted. Emily, change, give your horse a pat. Don't you know that you're beautiful?